Welcome everyone to another video and today I'm going to give you some practical tips when you're using your tripod out in the field to photograph wildlife. Okay, so the first tip is to know the height of your tripod. That is to get familiar with what you need to do in order to get it to the correct shooting height for you, uh, whether that's stood up to pretty close to eye level or maybe sitting down or kneeling down. So what do you need to do to the legs in order to get to the right height? So if you're stood up, do you need to extend all the legs, for example? Uh, if you have a central column, maybe you need to extend the central column in order to get where you want. Try and be familiar. Uh, with certainly how tall the tripod is but also how much you need to extend each leg and on my tripod I know that I need to extend the top two sections fully and then the bottom section uh, I've done a probably around four inches or so in order to get me a, a comfortable height for shooting when I'm stood up. Now tip number two is a very simple one and that is to try and use the top section of the tripod first. So you want to try and make sure that the top section is extended first before the other sections. Uh, that's because the top section is going to be bigger, it's going to be thicker, uh, it's going to be more stable. So always try and use that top section and work down the tripod rather than from the bottom up. Now this next tip might kind of contradict with what I've just told you, uh, but that is sometimes it's actually better to extend the bottom section just a little bit. So that can be in situations where you know, you've got a lot of mud on the ground or maybe on the beach, for example. If you leave it closed up like that, what can happen is you can get lots of muck and dirt which kind of collects around that joining section. Um, so it's actually a lot better, I think, just to keep it clear. So if you're in those kind of conditions, and this is what I always do, is just extend that bottom leg, even just like a couple of inches, it doesn't have to be much. And then that just keeps it clear of the join. I think it's much better like that. This is tip number four now, and this is to do with shooting upwards. So for example, if you've got a bird in a tree quite high up, then you're gonna to have to tilt the camera and kind of bring the camera down to get the camera to your eye. You might end up crouching down or maybe bending your neck a little bit. Uh, it's just more awkward, more uncomfortable. It's not quite as practical. So the best thing to do if you can is to try and get the tripod as, as probably as high as you possibly can, but get it higher than you would for normal eye level shooting. And now I've got the <laughs> I've got it very, very high up now. It's, uh, it's nearly at the top of my head, I think. So when I now bring the camera down, I'm just simply bringing the camera down to my eye. I'm not really having to move my body at all. It's a lot more comfortable. I think it's a lot more efficient. Now I'm going to give you an extra tip here because I realise not all tripods will go that high, uh, yours might not. So if it doesn't do that and you've got a screen on the back of the camera, then what you can do is actually use the screen to take the pictures rather than the viewfinder. So get yourself into position either looking through the viewfinder or with the screen and then just simply flip out the screen and then you can angle the screen uh, towards you so you can angle it so it's nice and comfortable for you to view. If you're enjoying these tips and you've got some of your own tripod tips that you'd like to share with people then please put them in the comments box below. Tip number five is to try and keep the tripod as level as you can or at least reasonably close to it. Now this is partly because it will help increase stability but also if you don't do that it can cause problems when it comes to tracking your subjects. So if I don't have the tripod level enough um, I'll see it's reasonably okay at the moment. Looking through the viewfinder, it's reasonably straight at the moment, shooting straight ahead. But if I want to track a subject, if I need to pan around over here, you see that the camera now starts to go really, really off. It's not level at all. If I come around this way as well, it's doing the same thing. So I might be okay in the centre, uh, but as I pan around, then it's just going to magnify that problem of not being quite level. So the more you track, the worse it gets. So basically, you're not keeping your horizon straight. Now, in terms of keeping it level, some tripods will have a spirit bubble. Uh, mine's got a spirit bubble on here but somehow it's broken. I don't know how a spirit bubble can break. Put answers in the comments box. Um, but I do actually have one on the head, on the fluid head of this tripod which I can look at. Now if you don't have either of those then what you can do is use a little spirit bubble which you can put on top of the hot shoe and then you can use that to make sure it's level. So if you try and get everything nice and level from the start then you won't have those problems when you come to move the camera. 
And the next tip is leg positioning. Now, generally speaking, you wanna have one leg out in front in the direction of which you're shooting. And that means that you can then stand behind the other two legs. So it's nice and comfortable, gives you a bit of room to move around. And there are situations where it might just not be practical to do this. Uh, sometimes on uneven ground, or perhaps you're against a wall, you need to make some more space. In that case, just improvise. You might need to put the two legs at the front, one leg at the back that you kind of put your leg around so if necessary just improvise now the next tip is just a really quick simple one and that's to make sure that everything is locked down on the tripod so if you've got something like this for example here I've got a, I've got a central column and I've actually got another section on top of that now when you actually come to shooting you just want to make sure that everything that is locked is properly locked and nice and tight um, so obviously if you're using a fluid head or a ball head or whatever, you might need to loosen that. But in terms of the actual tripod, when it's in place, everything's extended, make sure that it's locked up nice and tight. If you don't do that, and it's a bit loose, then it kind of causes instability, which I think can travel up from the tripod to the camera. And tip number eight is for if you're sitting down, maybe kneeling down for kind of low level work like this. And if I do this, I'll sometimes have the tripod like wider. I can sit in between those two legs. Now the only problem with this is, is it can get really uncomfortable, I find. If you just sit here like this, then your back and your lower back can get quite uncomfortable. So I find it's just more comfortable just to put my hands on the tripod. I either rest my hands on the tripod legs when I can or even on the camera and I just find by doing that it just relieves a little bit more tension on your back. Now the tips in this video are more related to photographing birds and animals but if you're after a value lightweight tripod for macro landscape perhaps travel photography then check the link up here. You can actually get 10% off this tripod if you click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in another, another photography video sometime soon.